Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Bitcoin analysis. Congratulations to everyone. We just hit one of the biggest milestones in Bitcoin's history. We just achieved that six digit number and we're now trading around the $100,000 levels. So what does this mean? Is the public still settled for buying an expensive Bitcoin at $100,000? Well, ETF inflows show that Michael Saylor's doing it, but do we know their intentions? Not necessarily. So there is a lot of confusion and possible FOMO going on. Are we looking for a pullback? Well, that's where the Elliott Wave Theory can help us provide a sense of direction without any bias. And if we take a quick recap of where we last stood for Bitcoin, it has been quite a while since we have been focusing on altcoins. However, from our last talk about Bitcoin, we were confident about some kind of higher Wave 3 termination point to be completed in the green, and we were looking for a Wave 4 to terminate. And right now at the time of recording, like I said, we're now in a very important area where the Wave 5 could be now looking like to complete very soon. And as price was developing, I was making sure to talk about a step-by-step -step in my private Discord. And by the way, if you are interested in joining, please don't hesitate to contact me with a link in the description below. And we were able to identify a possible triangle as it was going on. And it seemed like that was the highest probable pattern that has played out in hindsight now. And it's very likely that we did terminate as a triangle pattern for this wave four. It just makes sense that we are now working for a fifth wave to the upside as we just broke into price discovery again. And to translate this to a higher degree, it means that we are now working for a higher degree wave three to complete, which means in theory, we should be technically looking for another pullback in store for us um, as price continues up. And we should be looking for signs of any momentum divergences, possibly giving us signals that we could be going for that larger degree wave four for a pullback, as we can see here. Now, how far this wave five can go, now that is gonna be up for debate because we do have what we have been talking about for quite some time, the nested one twos. And depending on which way you're looking at these degrees, we have a few ways on how we can calculate this. Number one, we have first discovered um, this idea being the primary degree. We completed this, and actually in the previous video, we discussed that this was the completion. Like I said, we were looking for this primary wave three or the higher degree wave three to complete in the submenuit. And now this submenuit four is now complete and we're looking for a higher degree wave three in the blue. So what does this mean? This means that ladies and gentlemen, we're getting closer to a possible blow off top from this bull market or at least some kind of large cycle type of kind of correction that we really need to go for a correction before we actually even reassess on whether this is a continuation of a bull market. So with that being said, as we have now developed with a pretty high conviction that these three nested structures of one twos is kind of gonna be in because this move here was already extended quite a bit. So what does this mean? We're now in that green degree of the sub minuet and we were looking looking for that three, four, and now five. So that means we're already checking off two consecutive parent degrees and we're now finally looking for what could be possibly this degree here in the blue. So if we are now complete with this one, two, three, four, and now what could be the fifth wave, we don't know how far this fifth wave is gonna be because we have to zoom in. So if we do take a um, zoom in into the shorter time frames, we can see um, that we do have a pretty clear impulse off of the lows. We did break the top, so that is confident enough to say that we are working in an impulse to the upside, um, especially after this fifth wave has completed. And remember, this higher degree wave five is gonna be five waves comprised in itself. So technically, this fifth wave could be complete. However, um, markets are still you know, kind of going back and forth. They don't know if they should be buying, You know, what is institutions gonna be doing, who's gonna trigger the sell off and so forth, we just don't know. But with the LA wave theory, we have two ways of looking at it, in my opinion. So the first one being that if this is a five wave move, again, we could label this being the top as the fifth wave, or if this is the fifth wave going into that first wave one of the primary degree, we could be technically working for a higher wave five if this does turn into a larger impulsive structure. Now, what does this mean? Uh, the only way, the reason why I can see this as a possible um, move to the upside up to that $120,000 roughly is because we do have a 100% Fibonacci level there. If we're taking the measurement based on Fibonacci trend extensions uh, and we look for minimum expectations when we're looking for the LA wave theory. Now, since wave three was quite extended and we do have a lot of evidence that this is the extension for the wave three in itself, wave five should technically be short in theory, meaning that this wave one if we're basing it on 
the golden ratios, this wave one should be technically, or at least in minimum expectation, the same length for this wave five. And that's where we take the pivot of this wave one and four to measure this wave five. And that's how we get that 100% level at the 118 to the $120,000 levels roughly. So uh, yeah, this fifth wave can go all the way up to this $118,000 levels, or it can end anywhere below that really since we do have a technical fifth wave completing right um, and then we should be looking for a wave four now the higher it does go so you do keep this in mind the larger of a pullback it is going to be because the next assumption that we really want to be trying to apply as many guidelines as possible is that the higher degree wave fours will usually come back into the territory of the previous degree wave four. So if we do go higher, we're gonna be looking for a possible larger move to the downside. Uh, and that should be around, you know, a sizable 20 to 30 possible percent correction. And that's where it's gonna get a lot of vol um, really volatile. So we gotta be very careful here. Um, that's why we really need to take these degrees very seriously because since we did complete the first initial expansion phase, the next expansion phase is already in play as each wave con is consecutively being created. And right now, this fifth wave is kind of the last kind of mo moment in terms of determining on how this wave three is gonna be completed. So we are finally technically working in the largest extension um, for how this wave three is playing out. So if we do get that pullback, let's say that we get that wave four pullback, I would be very cautious in terms of as each level does come up with each you know $5,000 levels. Remember the power of compounding is very critical here and it's most applicable to these levels here because we are now at six digit levels. It's far easier uh, to go from uh, $100,000 to $117,000 is, you know, it's a lot of thousands working in between, but it's only a 13 to 15% gain of a move from the current levels. So you can see uh, the power of compounding becomes just that more relevant in this current time of recording. Uh, the more it's going to be brutal for a move to the downside because just going down from, you know, the $118,000 to the $90,000 is already a sizable 20% correction the power of compounding, right? So that is how we're gonna be seeing this possible wave three, four. Now we just talked about one of the scenarios, this possible triangle being completed as the highest possibility. Is there any other possible way that we can see how this fifth wave could end? I think so. There is a very big possibility that we could be working in some kind of diagonal where we just replace uh, that wave four being completed as a terminated point this could be some kind of, could be developing if it's going to be volatile to a possible ending expanding diagonal or even possibly um, with the current data does it look like a parallel channel more than anything else as a possible um, contracting ending diagonal as well so that means that this way four is already terminated and we have been already working for a possible diagonal which means that the only difference is that we are going to be moving to the upside maybe not as ambitious as that previous target of around hundred seventeen thousand dollars or hundred eighteen thousand dollars rather is that we're working correctly to the upside and with that psychology in mind like I said it from the very beginning of the video is that we may be very we're uh, working in a very volatile range and we may be working with a lot of overlaps so that does make sense in terms of the uh, expanding diagonal kind of characteristic we could be looking for um, these series of threes that could be working us into the possibility of this fifth wave being the diagonal in itself because we do have what could be characteristic of three waves being built here as you can see. So this is going to be very, very important, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is something to keep in mind. This in itself could be the diagonal itself, and then we should be getting a major bull off top as well. But the biggest way that we can kind of figure out whether this is going to be working in some kind of diagonal is possibly via the um, RSI divergences. We don't have any real critical divergences being created right now, but if we do start finding some divergence between waves three and five of the diagonal itself, that could be giving us signals that we are already looking for some kind of um, momentum divergence being created and a pullback is in store for us. So either way, these two scenarios, uh, the first scenario being the triangle being complete either here or wherever that fifth wave is, there is already um, a buildup of scenarios that is showing us for a possible pullback for a larger degree of wave four. Uh, so to me, in my opinion, I think that we are looking for eventually the higher degree wave to be going for a pullback. So that's something to be cautious about, ladies and gentlemen. I think um, I'm going to be more of a cautious bull here more than anything else, instead of seeing that it's going to go straight up to you know $150,000. But 
you know, I think a lot of people are ready to take profits or something, you know, we're, I think a lot of people have already taken profits around the $100,000 levels. Maybe they've already taken profits around these levels for a trailing profit. But we we just don't know what the markets are thinking. We only have with the data that we have currently have is um, some institutions, they're not even really talking about what they're buying. Um, we're, we've seen some institutions talking about, you know, they're buying until $200,000. Some people, you know, like Michael Saylor, they, they bought at all time highs. So there's a lot of confusion going on. Is it some kind of sentiment gauge that they're playing with the um, plebs with us? Like, you know, the one that the market participants that we're all playing with. We don't know. We just simply do not know. But again, the LA wave theory, based on how these corrective waves have been playing out so far, this wave five does look like it's ready to uh, come from uh, a really standoff, Mexican standoff between the bears and bulls very, very soon. So this wave three, in my opinion, we're going to be going for a sizable correction if we keep continuing up. Now, remember, like I said, we could have a one, two, three, four, five, and this wave five could technically end even earlier. We don't know. And then we can already have that wave three complete coming down for a wave four, maybe even deeper. We don't know. We just simply do not know because we just only have the data right here. And we now have considerable data for what it is. Um, and it could, the primary degree being complete already. Now we are looking for how this wave three of the submenu degree is going to be completing on the higher degrees. So hopefully that was helpful. This triangle breakout, I just gave those two different scenarios. First one being the triangle and the second one being the possible diagonal idea, which this wave five is going to be ending because we do have considerable um, corrective overlaps. And when you have considerable overlaps up to the sub wave three, that could be a sign that we are working correctively to the upside, but still the overall target to the upside is the same. It's just going to be a corrective move a lot faster. So that's something to prepare for if that does happen and that's how we're going to be looking at bitcoin ladies and gentlemen and we will talk about more altcoins if you haven't watched my videos on my previous altcoins congratulations to everyone who participated in the xrp trade we've been talking about that one forever we talked about xlm i don't really give many altcoins ladies and gentlemen we've chose the biggest uh, news bit basically xrp it became from a 29 billion dollar market cap coin to 150 150 billion plus market cap coin we chose the right ones ladies and gentlemen congratulations and i'm ready to show my cards for the next one so please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and that is the reason why i try to give out all of these coins and i really make considerable uh analyzing uh, these coins as much as i can so yeah uh if thank you very much for joining the x-force global team thank you very much i'll see you guys in the next video have a fantastic rest of the week bye bye